So one of the greatest challenges that you're faced with when you own an old car like this one is that oftentimes parts are just really hard to come by. And sometimes you have to deal with a lot of cheaper aftermarket parts. And obviously it's different for every vehicle. Third generation Firebirds and Trans Ams are no exception to that. And in my case, there are specific pieces on the 91 models that, that are often shared with the 92s, but the 91s and 92s do have pieces that are unique to those years. And one such piece, or I should say pieces, are the taillights. The taillights that are on my Trans Am are a lot like the GTA ones. The only difference is that does, the Pontiac is not written in red. It's actually just black. And they're super hard to come by. You could check the normal avenues like the Craigslists and the Facebooks, and chances are you're not going to find much. And even if you find like a parts vehicle, one, it's unlikely that it even has the proper taillights on it, and two, they're probably not in great shape. So it's the type of part that when you finally find one, um, you should probably just go ahead and pick it up. And that's exactly the situation that I was in just a few weeks ago. I happened to find a set of taillights on eBay, and again, it wasn't easy. I very frequently just browse for parts on any website that you can think of, just to see what I can find. I've gotten to know these cars pretty well to know what parts are rare, so I had been on the hunt for these taillights for honestly probably over a year. So as soon as I saw them listed on eBay, obviously I couldn't pass up the opportunity to pick them up. There wasn't even much of a bidding war to put up with. I don't even want to say what I paid for them, I, I paid a lot of money. But I couldn't pass them up, I wanted them. The taillights that are currently on my car are suffering from delamination. Adora Forest, Ophalactory, Marinations. And delamination is basically when the outer clear transparent plastic is separating from the black layer that's beneath, and it starts to basically look bubbly. And there's really nothing you can do about it. So all you can possibly do is just hope that you can find a solid replacement part. And I think I have done that. And here they are. Now you might be thinking, Chris, they did put these on other year Trans Ams, and they actually didn't. If you look closely at the later 80s Trans Ams, they do look very similar, but the biggest difference you'll notice is this red strip that goes across the top, it goes across the bottom on the late 80s models, and this is a two-piece setup. The late 80s models have a three-piece setup, where basically this would be one piece, then this middle part, would be a separate piece up to here, and then this from here on would be the third piece. So these were in fact unique to the 91s and 92s, which makes them so difficult to find. And don't get me wrong, these are in fantastic shape, and I'm excited to throw them on the car. But before I do that, and I really hope the camera can catch this, you may notice here, that's a good one, some faint surface scratches. And just a I wouldn't call it fogginess, but you could tell that this could probably use some buffering. Now again, the, of course, these don't have delamination. Order off for us, off Lactogil, Emancipations. Which is what cannot be repaired. But stuff like this, we can do something about that. So I've already worked on this one. Now I think you can tell, check out the black in this area here compared to here. See how, look how shiny that is. And not only that, it feels Amazing. It's super smooth. Super smooth. Super smooth. So you can see that we could probably buff some of this out to get it to look like this. And I worked on this and you can see that it just looks almost brand new. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did to this one. And we'll do it to this one, hopefully it'll come out just as nice. Now of course this doesn't just apply to these specific taillights. What I'm about to do, you can do on any year taillight, regardless of make or model. And here's what I used, I used a couple different grits of wet sandpaper. We got a thousand and fifteen hundred. I have some of these buffering tools for the electric drill. And in fact I forgot to go grab my drill, I'll go get that now. And before I do that, I got Mother's Plastic Polish. This stuff's pretty awesome. And if you need any of this stuff, I'll just link it into the description of this video. I forgot to mention microfibers. You're going to want a couple of these around. First thing we're going to do is just kind of wipe this off. We want to get any small fragments off of the piece before we go sanding. We're going to start with the 1000. And I'm basically just going to wet it. Kind of throw some water on here too. If you want, throw some towels under this. I'm in my garage. It doesn't really matter. 
All right. I'm just saying. Don't press too hard. Press lightly. Next up, we're going to move to the 1500. That's enough of that. Grab your microfiber and wipe all this down. You want to wipe this down before you go ahead and polish to make sure you remove any of the small particles. Okay, before we go and polish, I wanted to show you this because I don't want you to freak out because the first time I did this, I freaked out. You can see this is very cloudy looking now when compared to this. You can see how shiny this is. That's because this has already been polished. I'm going to let this air dry a little bit longer. Then we're going to apply the plastic polish and it's going to look exactly like this. I've got my polishing tool on my drill and all we're going to do is apply a little bit to the end here. Also do a little bit around here. And then we just go for it. All right, so after one coat of that, it's already looking a lot better. But what I did last time is I kept reapplying and I kept buffering until I came to a gloss that I was comfortable with. I think it took me three or four coats last time, so I'm about to do the second coat now. Okay, my bad guys, I forgot the final step and that is to actually just wax them. I'm using a basic turtle wax. You can use whatever your favorite brand is, I don't really think it matters too much. But this is the final step that should give us the shiny glossy finish that we're looking for. And I'm all done. Now there was a pretty deep scratch somewhere here. You can still sort of see it. I don't even know if it, the camera's picking it up right here. But it's a lot harder to see now. And this black is definitely a lot deeper, more like this one now. In fact, in the reflection, this one still looks better. But trust me, this one still looks great. I'm trying to get a good shot, but maybe it actually, let me switch this. There we go. You can see the black is a lot deeper now, more like this side. So right now, of course, would be the opportune time to install the new tail lights. But my car actually isn't here. In fact, she hasn't been here for a couple months now. And you may be wondering why, but it's a super secret. And I'll give you a hint. She's gonna look a lot prettier when you see her again. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you think you know what the super secret is. I feel like I just told you. But as soon as she's back home, these are going to get thrown on. 
And I'm really excited about it because I didn't mention this before, but these are my favorite taillights that they ever put on the Trans Am. And I may be biased, I know, I have a 91, but having said that, not everything about the 91 is my favorite. But the taillights in particular, I've always liked. And it's a shame they only did it for just two short years. And that is about it.